What's up, soldiers? Your boy Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Um, Tasty Tuesday, we doing, we continuing on the July month of grilling. Things on fire, man. Hope you guys checked out the drunk chicken that I did last Tuesday. You're gonna like that one if you haven't. Check it out. Today I'm doing something with fish seafood. You know what I mean? We gotta mix it up a little bit. And I'm gonna say a special shout out to my brethren. Um, Kevin Manley. Kevin, you wanted fish, here we go. Vibes it up, man. You're gonna need some fresh thyme, a lemon, a couple of limes, some parsley, ginger, garlic, scotch bonnet pepper. I mean, they said that is totally optional. If you don't want it spicy, you can leave that out. Um, sea salt, and I have tomato. You'll also need some good olive oil. It's time to put together this sort of marinade here. Um, we're gonna start off with um, that scotch bonnet pepper that I chopped up. And I'm using a whole one with seeds and everything because I want that kick. But remember, you don't want any seeds in there if you're worried about that raw heat. Also, wash your hands with soap and water after. And ultimately, you can leave this out. It's totally up to you. I like that kick. And that's why I'm using it. I have here some fresh thyme. And I'm just going to pick the leaves off it. Uh, maybe about six. Um sprigs of thyme. If you guys hear any sort of weird noise in the background, it's just my dishwasher draining. The last time that happened, someone asked if I, well, a couple people, if I flushed the toilet in the kitchen. Not sure who has toilets in the kitchen, but I don't, certainly. Um, sea salt. We're going to use the juice of two limes and a good dose of olive oil as I said if you want to add a little bit more flavor to this you can go in I'm going to use about a half cup of olive oil you can go in with a dash or two of soy sauce that's totally optional and totally up to you I've got here half of a tomato that I chopped up two cloves of garlic that I chopped up relatively fine you can crush that if you want and I've got the two scallions Chopped up as well, a couple tablespoons of chopped parsley, and you can feel free to use any sort of herbs that you like. If you like dill, you can go in with some dill. I'm going to grate in a little bit of ginger in there and some black pepper as well as the juice of the two limes just to get a nice citrus something going. We'll also need one lemon and I'll show you how we're going to use that shortly. Off camera, I'm just going to continue and I'm going to mix this up and prepare this. So in with that black pepper. If you want to use white pepper, you can use white pepper. If you got the fresh stuff that you can grind in there, certainly do that as well. I'm going to go in with about half a teaspoon of sugar. And all we want to do now is to mix that, bring it all together. Make sure that salt dissolves that we um, have in here. And then we're going to separate this, well divide it into two. Um, we're going to use it as a dressing at the end when we're done grilling the fish as well as a marinade for the fish now since there's that lemon that lime juice in here we won't marinate the fish for long maybe about five minutes and that's it off to the grill and here I have my snapper you can use a bigger fish this marinade will be enough for two large fish if you want and all I did was I cut a couple um, cuts down into the thick part of the fish here and it's been cleaned, it's been scaled, it's been washed with, with lemon juice and water. And all we want to do now is to pretty much top this. And I'm going to go all into the cavity and everything with this marinade and allow that to marinate for about four or five minutes or so. But just want to get it all down inside the cavity and everything, all into those cuts that I made there. And I'm just going to turn that over and do the same thing again here. Down into the cuts. And then just let that sit, marinate while your grill heats up. Remember to tuck it all inside a camera angle. Probably isn't all that great at the moment, but you should get the idea of what we're doing here, right? I think it must have been last winter. Well, after the summer going into the fall, I got one of these um, fish grilling basket wire things. I don't even know what the name is. At, at the Walmart on sale clearance stuff so I thought I'd pick it up and this is a great opportunity for me to use it now and what we're gonna do with the lemon is we're gonna put 
Um, a couple slices, maybe about one, two, three slices of that lemon. I spray off that parsley, and then, uh, pardon me for a second. We're gonna put that fish into the basket here. Remember, we stuffed it. It's been marinating now, and then we're gonna go back with some of that lemon. the parsley make it nice and pretty man you know and all we're gonna do now is fold that in like so and if you don't have one of these wire basket things you can chance it and grill it on a well grated uh, oil your grate <laughs> well grated listen to me all the grates on your grill or you can wrap this in tin foil and grill it in tin foil it's totally up to you and I've got my coals nice and hot that's been going now for about 15-20 minutes and I put the fish directly over it so as we did with the drunk chicken we did indirect this time we're doing direct grilling because the fish cooks fast and we want all that nice heat to go up there and create some lovely flavors for us I do apologize for the lighting it's almost 8 45 p.m. at night here so it is getting a bit dark but as you can see I flipped it once already uh, I'm gonna flip it a couple times uh, in total I'm gonna cook this for about 20 to 25 minutes um, over the direct heat as I said but again cook the fish according to the way you like it if you like it less cooked well do your thing you know more cook free up yourself what I forgot to mention is as it grills if you want you can certainly pour on or brush on some of that marinade that we made directly on there the little bit of marinade I have left, I'm saving that to use as sort of a dressing for when I'm eating it. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. While it's still hot, this is a, it's completely cooked all the way through. I just like going on with that um, extra marinade that I saved there. The heat from that fish is really going to brighten up that marinade. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. Remember to click subscribe, leave comments below. And I'll have this recipe posted on CaribbeanPod.com within the next 24 hours or so.